Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart, and somebody in our room, one of our members yesterday pointed out, you got matching highs and you got matching lows in the last two daily, daily uh, candles. Uh, 98 on the up, 82 half on the down. Um, neither has been breached today. So I'll be interested to see if we get an inside day here. Um, they passed the tax thing last night. The market kind of shrugged its shoulders. Didn't take out 98. If the bears can find their car keys, I think that probably benefits them. But you have to think based upon the overnight, they're at least going to make one more run probably at 98. And how price reacts to that is going to be important. And I said it before and I'll say it again. They convert 98 and they convert 2700. I would not be fighting that. I would not be fighting that, you know, five days before Christmas. Um, so... We'll have to see. Uh, the dip buyer showed up this morning down around 90 half. Uh, VWAP has held. Our proprietary moving average has been holding up since 7.30 pretty well. So all that points towards giving 98 a look uh, at some point before noon today. Um, as you get out on the hourly, we talked about the tight bands yesterday. That, that turned out to be a downside resolution, which was a really nice short uh, for us to be in. Uh, it got choppy right around the time of the, uh, of the house vote, and then they ended up finishing it with matching lows, as I mentioned before, uh, down at 82 half. Those were defended, and there are 10 handles up off the top of those. So we're really just in a range trade. I mean, we're in a 16 handle range between 98 and 82 half. Break out, break down, you get the next move in the market. My principal concern is there may not be a breakout or a breakdown. It may be hello holiday trading, and this is the way it's going to be. So, um, you know, it, it, that's, that's very possible. In which case, the subscriber webinar I did for, for my folks yesterday talked a lot about holiday trading. A couple of the high points that I mentioned is it's like a water faucet. It's turned on and turned off. And when the, when the faucet is off, when the volatility doesn't want to do anything, then, then you need to do less or, or literally do nothing. Um, take the opportunities when they come. It becomes pretty evident if you're if you're self-aware when the market wants to trade and when it doesn't. So you got to take advantage of the times when it wants to trade, and um, you know don't overtrade, don't chop yourself up, don't hand over a bunch of commissions when it doesn't want to trade. Um, and I would expect that from now until the end of the year. That's just that's the way late December goes. Um, so as I said, for today, for today. Matching lows have to be dealt with. You got a lot of 2698 resistance. The house apparently has to vote one more time because of a procedural issue. That's not going to change anybody's mind. So the um, you know the the tax bill will pass, and we'll have to see how the markets deal with that uh, uh, going forward. One of the edges of this range is is pretty much priced in. We've either priced in matching highs or matching lows. Don't fight it over 2700. Below, uh, below 82 half, if they can run with it, you know, you have the potential to go down and see the nine day simple moving average, which is down around uh, 2674. That's a completely reasonable place. That's where it found support back here. It's where it could find support again. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. I'll be back uh, later this afternoon with a wrap up. Trade them well. Talk to you then. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.